Find something you love to do. Do it every day. Be obsessed. Balance can come later. Use your imagination. Put pen to paper. Declare your intentions. Set small goals. Knock them off, set more goals. You have a lot of potential as a child, but none of that is capable of manifesting itself as freedom before you become disciplined. Build confidence. Grow a deep belief. Outwork people. Play the long game. You don't have to be the chosen one. The secret is to build the resolve and spirit to enjoy the plateaus. The times when it doesn't feel like you're improving and you question why you're doing this. If you're patient, the plateaus will become springboards. Finally, never stop striving, reaching for your goals until you get there. But the truth is, even when you get there, even when you get here, standing on this stage, it's the striving, fighting, pushing yourself to the limit every day that you'll miss and you'll long for. If you want to be a grocer or a general or a politician or a judge, you will invariably become it. That is your punishment. If you never know what you want to be, if you live what some might call the dynamic life, but I will call the artistic life, if each day you are unsure of who you are and what you know, you will never become anything, and that is your reward. When you grow up, you tend to get told that the world is the way it is, and your, your life is just to live your life inside the world, try not to bash into the walls too much, uh, uh, try to have a nice family life, uh, have fun, save a little money. Life can be much broader once you discover one simple fact, and that is everything around you that you call life was made up by people that were no smarter than you. Uh, how many of us, I wonder, can recall that childhood moment when we experienced happiness as a state of being? That single moment of untarnished joy, that moment when everything in our world, inside and out, was all right. Everything was all right.